Welcome to Nielsen Boxing. I'm here with Lewis Roberts. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. Mate, yourself? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, well, I suppose one and I. Should we start with a bit of your boxing history? Amateurs? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I've been boxing since I was six years old. So we've been boxing 14 years now. Um, turned amateur as soon as I could straight away. A few skills bouts. And uh, from there, I think we had about 30, 34, 35 amateur bouts, winning about 20 around that. It's got some lines of that anyway. And uh, turned pro as soon as I went 18. My 18th birthday, we, we, we turned over pro in, in February after that. Then obviously, all the lockdowns came in, uh, which uh, put a bit of a halt in the journey, but we're there now and we're, we're going again. Nice. And what's what's the setup there? Where are you Where are you training at the moment? Um, I'm still based with Paddy at the minute, although he's not actually got his uh, pro licence anymore. But we're, we're, we're based there, just training at the minute. Still mm. training with Paddy, but we're going to dot about, about yeah. a few other gyms up and down the country, uh, Bristol and, uh, and, and uh, up to London. See where we settle, really. See which coach we uh, settle on and, and, and think best for us. Perfect. The area is really buzzing at the moment with boxing, so I'm sure there's plenty of gyms that you can go up and down. Yeah, good spot running as well. Plenty of gyms in in, in the southwest that we can uh, bar in and build coaches, and then we um settle. Right. So I'm going to try paint the picture for everyone there. I was ringside at your debut. Yeah. It was. Very, very loud. I yeah. looked over my shoulder and I've seen maybe 100, 150 people all wearing moustaches. Right, yeah, yeah, that's it. Tell me about that. Basically, it's just uh, a bit of fun that the that, that, that fans are going to have, isn't it? And, and, um, still got a story behind it, which I'll get onto in a minute. But the main thing is just that's that that's my brand now that's that's, that's going to be my brand the the, the moustaches and, and and the sombreros it's all a bit of fun which which no one else in in boxing really has perfect and the name el gordito yeah so that that that, that comes from back from from a long time ago i've always sort of had that sort of name in the gym which started it started off as chubsy which uh i got from traveling four hours or even for a fight and uh when we got there, I weighed in too heavy, and ever since then, the name Chubsy has always stuck with me in the gym, and I've never really called my actual name in the gym. Um, and Al Gordito comes from a sort of mix of Mexican and the, the, the name Chubsy, because I've always thought I'm a bit like a Mexican. I've uh, thought of going over to Mexico when I was younger to uh, have a little camp out there or whatever, and I get some experience everyone always thought that I, I fought like a Mexican when I was uh, 14 going, going away to London on, on school days to bar the pros a bit like a young Mexican would um, so obviously we've got the show coming up March 26th yeah uh, you've got Max Mudway as the main event you've got a southern area title there as well with Sutton and Shannon uh, looking forward to that card Definitely, yeah. Having uh, Max uh, as as a main event and a title on 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 the card is is, is going to be a great experience for me. But then, then I I I know what the crack is. Then when I'm in that position, hopefully next year or so. Perfect. So I feel like I was going to say no spoilers, but I feel like you might have thrown one out there. I have heard whispers that there's going to be not moustaches at the next fight, but something else as well. Yeah, there's there's, there's going to be plenty of uh, sombreros at the next fight. We've got them on sale now with any tickets. £3 for any tickets and we'll have them on sale on the night as well. Perfect. I'll be sat ringside with one of them on then. Nice, nice. So, plans for 2022 and beyond? You've obviously mentioned titles there. What are you, uh, what are you looking to do in the next year or so? Yeah, so in the next year, we're hoping to to, to stay busy and uh, end up 7-0 and by the end of the year with six fights scheduled for this year. March go. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, be in the sort of top twenty, and then go from there. Really, see what that takes us. We're, we're in no rush. I've got I've got bags and bags of time on my hands, so there's there's literally no rush. We take stepping stones. Next year, maybe. Nice. Obviously, with so many shows now for Nielsen Boxing over the year as well, gives you a chance really to maybe travel about and uh, get on multiple shows rather than just the home ones too. 
Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, obviously good to be in the in the home crowd and everything, but being able to get out to Bracknell and Gloucester and uh, and uh, Oxford is going to be good for the brand to spread it out there a bit further. Perfect. And just lastly, obviously, where can people get tickets from you? What's your social media and any sponsors? Yeah, so uh, you can get tickets from me on any of my social media, on, on Instagram, on, on, on Facebook, um, Lewis Roberts. Find me on there, contact me on any tickets and shout out to all my sponsors, Allegra Recruitment, Cold Scaffolding and Wiltshire Tolling. Good luck, mate. Cheers for your time. Thank you, mate.